Hello brothers, hello sisters, hello heretics. Welcome back to another video. So today, I want you to lend me your ears because I want to talk about the Black Templars. Why are the Black Templars so cool? Why do we love the Black Templars so much? Why do they have this fandom that follows them to the bitter end? So let's just jump in and let's talk about Rogel Dawn's crusading boys a little bit of a background for those of you who don't know who the templars are i have no idea why you don't know who the templars are because they're one of the greatest chapters that have ever been born for the imperium but just in case you're not familiar with the law um, you all should know what space marines are at this at this time they're you know gene enhanced um super soldiers and basically the black templars i see them as a version of these starters but basically they've took crack <laughs> They are they, they they have took religious crack. They they see everything differently in the Imperium. Everything is a never ending crusade. Like normal Space Marine chapters go to a planet and go, Okay, you know, we've done this. Good job everyone. Let's go back to the temple and you know, let's do some things and you know Let's just discuss, you know, books and stuff if you're an Ultramarine. Um, the Black Templars are like, okay, we've killed this orc. Oh, there's another orc on that side of the galaxy. Crusade! And they basically just run across the galaxy. And they never stop. It's a never-ending crusade. They completely ignore the Codex Astartes. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us. Shape us as Ultramarines. Teach us to hold duty and honor sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And these guys talk about a fucking you. book! Which Gilliman laid down where you can have only um, up to, a, well, a, a f around a thousand marines. It has changed a bit uh, with the new law because Gilliman's made like a different company and stuff and of course with the induction of the Primaris. It has spilled over a bit, but the Black Templars were like, you know what, I don't care about this book you know we're not a fan of you mate and they basically just ignored that and i think they've got around six thousand marines at this moment in time each like um uh, 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 like thousand marines is split into its own crusade and they're you know just going around the galaxy doing what they do purging the xenos purging the mutant and the heretic in the emperor's name and let's talk about the emperor for the second because the black templars are a small majority of chapters that see the emperor differently they see the emperor as a divine being they've embraced the emperor as a god just like the imperium sees the emperor as a god now so do the black templars they are basically fanatical space marines whose zealotry is like times 1000 they go everywhere shouting for the god emperor and they just go around lopping people's heads off in his divine will there must be war. God wills it! And I think that's what makes these chaps really attractive. Well, anyway, that's what makes them attractive to me. Because how different they are to other chapters. Now, my chapter is the Imperial Fist. It is the gene sires of the Black Templars. They come from the Imperial Fist, again, for those of you who don't know. But they are the complete opposite of the Black Templars. Why are you just me? Where the Black Templars are like, rah, charge into battle. The Imperial Fists are like, let's build a nice little wall here. Let's stand on top of it. And let's shoot down into the masses of Herise and Xenos. And I think that's what attracts other people to the chapter as well. Is just how different they are. How they go about their different styles of warfare. How they basically give the finger to the Codex Astartes and the Imperial system. Saying we'll do it our way. We did this in the past. This is how we conquered the stars. And we're doing it once more to conquer them again. And if that really didn't attract you to the Black Templars. Then just look at them. Just look at the goddamn Black Templars, one of the most sexiest looking chapters you'll ever come across in Warhammer 5000. They've got capes, they've got tabards, they've got, you know, chains strapped to all their weapons so they don't drop them because they get so bloody into it and there's everything swinging around. It's like, oh, you know, I can't drop my sword because it's basically attached to my goddamn wrist. It is, it's just, per everything about this bloody chapter is just absolutely done to perfection. And on top of that, then we have the characters. The characters 
are more fleshed out than some of the first founding chapters. Again, I'll go back to my Imperial Fist. We only really have a couple of people that really stand out in the Imperial Fist. If you look at the Black Templars, they've got Helbrecht, they've got Grimaldis, uh, they've got like the Emperor's Champion, all these like awesome characters that have such... Um, a background to them that, that that have been made throughout the ages of the editions of Warhammer 40,000 has really added a foundation to their lore, to their story, to their place in the 40k universe. And I, I think it's so well done, it puts them actually above like their founding chapter, the Imperial Fist. I'll be the first to admit that. These chaps are way cooler than the Imperial Fists. Now let's go back in time for a little bit. Let's talk about a love story. A love story between myself and the Black Templars. Where it all started. Where did I first encounter the Black Templars? Now for those of you who know about me and how I got into the hobby, um, basically um, I started with Orcs. <laughs> Massive Xenos, I know. I, I didn't know Space Marines existed. Um, then one day, um, my friend came around and he had Space Marines. And I was like, oh my god, they come in Space Marines. And then I went into um, the actual shop with my mother. Um, and um, I came across this art piece that you see in the background now. Now, this is a John Blanche art piece. Um, it's from 3rd edition, if I'm not mistaken. And as soon as I saw this, I just couldn't stop staring at it. It was one of the greatest art experiences of my life. And it hasn't been surpassed yet. Like, I've had all my Valrak artwork done. I love it to bits. But seeing this image and just looking at everything that's going on, it, it completely lit the fire in my heart to be a full-blown Space Marine player. The the zealotry, the aggressiveness, um, the pure just 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 rage that i i see in this image inspired me to go where i am today to become this space marine player and i absolutely love it now i know you can actually buy this uh, while i'm art print and i'm actually saving up for it at the moment i'm gonna get like the big massive one and put it on my art because i just i'm sorry my wall because i just I, it, it, it's it's fantastic i absolutely love it and i think um one of the reasons why the community take to the black templar so much is because of all the media around it, just like that art piece that I just talked about, but we have other things, like Adam Dembski Bowden has written an amazing model called Hell's Reach, I think everyone knows of Hell's Reach um, at this moment in time, Chaplain Grimaldis, probably one of the most famous chaplains, if not the most famous chaplain, you can argue Asmodai and stuff like that, make him repent, um, but that book set like a precedence for me, it's like, okay, this is it, this is, this, this, this is like, you know, Black Templars, at their peak, the way the story was, the characters in there, how they see warfare, and then from that, we actually had an animation made, um, which is set now on course, um, I personally think, all these other animations, like um, if Astartes, um, uh, the actual one that GW is doing themselves, the Angels of Death one, I personally think they all saw what Richard Boland did with Aaron Dembski's uh, work on Hell's Reach, and they, uh, they, 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 they saw how the community reacted to that, and they were like, wow, okay, um, we can do this kind of stuff, and this is what the community wants. Um, so I, I, I always see the Black Templars being the foundations of the media course when it comes to animation um, in the 40k universe, both fandom and official from Games Workshop. And where we are now, actually, with the Black Templars is in a bit of a rut. I would say, which is a real shame, because like I've been mentioned, they're, they're such a cool chapter, they're so iconic, they're so different, uh, they have this huge fan base, which we, we you know, we, we, we are so dedicated to the Templars, and we'll keep doing it, we'll, we'll, we'll keep crusading in the Templars' name, um, but GW over the past couple of uh, years, um, I think it was 5th edition, was their last codex, and now, we're now in ninth edition. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. It may have been sixth edition, maybe. I think they got their last codex, um, but we've had nothing since then. Yes, they've mentioned them here and there. They've been in the Psychic Awakening book with eighth edition, but just like a little blurb and a, a few different rules. Um, I, I definitely, definitely think that this chapter deserves its own supplement. Just like the Imperial Fist got its own supplement, the Black Templars needs its own supplement because it's full of that rich lore, the stories, the characters, the rules. They, they're just, you know, they, 
just the way they look, you know, you need it all explaining on the tabletop. They have a whole different iconographer, you know, compared to the Codex of Styles. They do the things their own way. So it's 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 kind of sad to see that they haven't received that love off Games Workshop. Hopefully, fingers crossed, now that 9th edition is here, this is the year the Crusade begins again we get some new awesome stuff for black templars maybe some new characters i know the whole primaris thing you can argue they're, they're gonna do like primaris hellbreck primaris grimaldis primaris empress champion will they eventually come um we don't know but hopefully gw hasn't forgot about the black templars and um, they have this huge fan base that is here we all love them and we would completely buy them until gw's out of stock if they made new black templar stuff it's like GW would be making their own money. That's the way I see it. Because they are so popular and people will just flock to them. Because they, again, they have this massive fan base. Alright, Chaperunios, that's me done for another video. Sorry if this was completely random. I'm playing in Black Templars at the moment for my last wall. And I don't know, it just it just lit something with inside of me. And I was like, do you know what? I want to talk about Black Templars. I want to make a Black Templar video. I just want to talk about them. Just for how bloody long and just get across and just how awesome they are so um thank you for coming thank you for watching i don't know if you're still here or not maybe you know uh, there's too much um, um zeal in this actual video for you to reach this mark but um if you're still here then the emperor has blessed you and um you are truly a son of rogel dawn and you are truly um a black templar right thank you for coming thank you for watching i'll see you now and bye bye